10 days of prayer, back to the altar, being the last day of our formal experience. We encourage everyone to continue praying privately in your groups and in your churches. Empowered to finish the work. Day 10, I will go as a subtopic. Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, the prophet said, here am I, send me. Scripture found in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Worshippers go. Who is willing to go? That's the question God asked Isaiah when he caught a life-altering vision of God. The moment was filled with amazing special effects. God was seated on a throne high and lifted up, Isaiah 6, verse 1 says. His robe filled the temple as six-winged angels serenaded him with a chorus of holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory, verse 2 says. As God began to speak, the doorposts of the temple began to shake and smoke filled the house. The whole episode so undid Isaiah that he cried, Woe is me, <clears throat> for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Verse 5. Can we blame him? Who can catch a glimpse of God and not be en masse? Isaiah was awed by the holiness and majesty of God, but God does not reveal himself purely for our astonishment. God's revelation of himself is usually followed by a request. This was the case, for instance, when he gave John a revelation of Jesus Christ while exiled on the island of Patmos. John's vision of the end of the world and the return of Christ was meant to be shared. Likewise, when God revealed himself to Isaiah, he was looking for a messenger, willing to spread his message of love and warning. Isaiah's answer was, one for the ages. Here am I, send me, he said in verse 8. One on one is important, but God did something for Isaiah that led him to accept the call to go. <clears throat> when God took away his iniquity and purged his sin, Isaiah's response to God's grace was, I will go. <clears throat> his decision to accept God's mission was made during a private devotional experience with God. The power he would yield in public for God was power that he gained in private with God. Anointed writer, faithful prophet, fearless proclaimer, all of Isaiah's outward identities were but a reflection of who he was on the inside. He had been to the altar of God. As we end our 10 days of prayer experience, it is our prayer that you have begun to rebuild your personal altar of daily worship. It is our hope that your family has covenanted to meet God each morning and evening. But more than that, we pray that you will accept God's special invitation to go. In so doing, you will be touched. And to those who make so full a consecration that the Lord can place his touch upon the lips, the word is spoken. Go forth into the harvest field. I will cooperate with you. Mrs. White says in her book, Gospel Workers, page 23. And so we encourage us all to continue in prayer as we formally uh, stop the 10 days of prayer experience. We encourage all of us to keep on keeping on praying so that God will come down and be a powerful part of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in 2023 and in the Kendall Seventh-day Adventist Church in particular, that all of us will rededicate our hearts and minds and, and every uh, resource that we have to the furtherance of the Three Angels message. Again, remember the theme for our last formal day of prayer, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. When and whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Isaiah, here am I, send me. Remember the key thought, whom shall I send? You and I. Here am I. You and I need to respond that way 
And you and I need to say to God, send me. Remember to continue in prayer. Prayer of thanks, prayer of th uh, praise, prayer of confession, prayers of guidance, asking God for guidance, asking God for special requests and special uh, prayers for our friends, family, and the local church, particularly here at the Kendall Seventh-day Adventist Church in Miami, Florida. We also want to pray and listen and finally respond to the urging of the Holy Spirit and to continue praying and continue giving our hearts to God and definitely continuing to work for God till he comes. So send I you by grace made strong to triumph over hosts of hell, or for darkness, death, and sin, my name to bear and in that name to conquer. So send I you my victory to win as the Father has sent me. The scripture says, so send I you. May God bless us all. Until he comes, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.